So I have the throttle linkage set, all my cables and everything, and I have them lubed. So now I can move on to putting a new brain in the bike. And I'm sure that if that gets put in, it'll... Lois, you have a minute? Yeah. Sit down. No, up here. Did you order me a brain from Hansdale Brooks? No. Would you mind telling me who you ordered this brain from? And you won't be angry. I won't be angry. Abby someone. Abby someone. Abby who? Abby normal. Abby normal. I think that was the name. Do you mean to tell me I was going to put an abnormal brain into my Suzuki C50, a 542-pound bike, 805 cc, that goes 112 miles an hour? Is that what you're telling me? My very next step on this bike is to set the throttles, but before I do that, I am going to take this unit off and lube them. They say they should be lubed every two years. If you don't have the cable lube, you could probably use WD-40 or something like that. It's better than nothing. But by the book, this should have some play where it's off and you go to turn it to give it throttle. There should be some play in there. But they want some play, so that means your stop is going to be used to set your idle. That's what the book says. That's what I'm going to go by. So let me take this unit off and uh, show the ends of the cables and how I'm going to lube them. And if you can see, this one cable on the bottom is not adjustable up here. Well, it might be. I don't think. No. But this is the one for pulling it on. That's a lock ring that you back off. Then this is to adjust it in and out to pull the cable or slacken it. I have a rubber glove on to help seal that. So, put that straw right next to the cable, hold it the best I can, and let the rubber gloves kind of seal it. It's kind of tough to get that in there, but I think it's going. And they also have it open down in here. There, yeah, that'll help. On the back side of those, they have a slit. But I'm just trying to get the stuff as good as I can. And being that this is on the top, It'll run down into it. I'm gonna take my carburetor down here and turn, where is it? Turn my throttle up and down to try to help get some, uh, that fluid coming down through there. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more lubrication down in these one more time and uh, you can see if you turn it over you can see how the cable comes up out of there so maybe I can spray just a little bit on the cable and it'll follow it down in there this stuff wants to go every place too there I got that one get the other one I've let this set a while, let it try to drain down in there. So I'll let that set for a little bit. I'll put this all back together then, and I lubed this with the same lube, this here, that's really turns easy. I lubed it up. So I button this all back up, then I'll be able to set that cable for the uh, play when I go to pull it on. I can set that play.
So I have this all lubed up, everything. I put some white lichen grease on there and on the ends of these wires. Now one thing you have to be careful of is when you put this up, pull your uh, kill switch to the back or to the front in front of the handlebar and put it up. If you don't, you won't be able to close it up. So I can turn this down to get the cable on the throttle in first that goes for the pull. And it's tough, you gotta maneuver so much to get in there. I'm getting some of the grease wiped off. I might have to add a little bit before I close it up. My hand's in the way. That is like a puzzle. <clears throat> Gotta make sure I get it in the right one. Okay, I got that one in. That one is back that way. That's the one that pulls. A little tough to get it in there. And you have to put it in first so that you can pull this wire up to get it in here. For That's when it pulls off. So I want to watch I don't bind that. I want to hold this up in place. Pull this down so I have a little extra slack. Hold it and then hurry up and try to put this on. <laughs> oh, it's a son of a gun. Pull it. If you can see, I got it. Boy, it's hard to get it in there. You got to have all the uh, slack out of or leave a lot of slack in your line to get it. And there it is. It's almost in. There, it's in. That's it. So I got both wires, and you can see when you're done, the two wires are on top. I've got silicone, uh, white lichen grease, I mean. I got it in here on those. Now you can just turn this over, and if you feel the bottom, it'll lock in place. I think it's in, and there it is. So I got three screws to put in it. That's tightened that up. Then I'll go with adjusting the play out of this. I have that all put back together. So now, the last step is, I wanna check down here by the carburetor and make sure those the throttle cables are still in their slots and everything. They didn't come out because I had them so loose. So now, I'm gonna come around to the uh, cables underneath the throttle and I put a light there so you could see better and make my final adjustment because I got a lot of play in it. Okay, now I can see it. Now you can see right here the cable in the front. I thought one was above and one was below, but they're side by side. The front cable, you can see that big wheel there. That's a locking wheel there. And this piece right, right here, you can see I'm turning it outward, outward to take up the slack in the, uh, I want to take out that slack to take up the plate in the throttle. So it's almost there. So let me come up here to where the throttle is. And I believe I can turn this light off. So now we check the throttle. You can see how much play here. Put my finger on it so you can see. That's a little more than I want. So I'm just going to turn that out some more. It doesn't take a whole lot. That's still a good bit. Out some more. If I go too much, I can simply wind it back in. Now there, that there's feeling 
pretty decent. Let me go just a hair more. And I think that's right where I'll leave it. So when that throttle's off, you know it's clear down and it's on the stop. That's good there. Maybe just a little bit less. <laughs> kind of a get your own feel on it. Ah, uh, there we go. There it is. That's all the more I want. Now, I'll hold that bottom thing and then tighten that big not or that big plastic wheel outward and that'll lock that together so it won't move anymore and that'll be set i have it set where i want it i put a uh i put that down there locked at so that can't move the cable anymore and i put a piece of tape on here it doesn't want to stick because i got the grease on it but what i did was i folded it together right here and you don't want to have this too high you'll get an off reading but if you really want to know you can put a scale down here, try to keep it down towards the bottom. I'll see if it'll stay, I doubt it. But I have, yeah, it's not gonna stay. I can't hold the camera and do it. But anyway, if I turn this, I'm getting a little more than an eighth inch play. So that play should be in there. And that's set. Now tomorrow, I can come out, finish it up, and I'd like to thank all the viewers, all the good comments I've had. Hope you're, uh, you know, staying, staying around your house and not going out much. We haven't been. We're trying to adhere to it to get that virus done with. Crazy times. And I think tomorrow I'm going to put the brain on the, uh, you know, the computer on the bike. Then I can start finishing it all up put the tank back on and everything and hope the computer is the trouble but I'll be able to put the tank the seat on and we get it we're gonna get a decent day pretty soon As soon as we do I'll film it and go out and see how it does maybe have to adjust the throttles the throttle up and down a little bit but that should be it hopefully that takes care of it and I did get a good brain that uh, <laughs> that package it said abnormal brain they just put it in the wrong package that's all <laughs> if you watch young frankenstein then you'll understand what we were doing <laughs> blame it on lois it was our fault i had nothing to do with it i'm not saying nothing <laughs> have a good day